You're watching Arizona Zone KTVK TV3. Total news now. Ray Thompson, Mitch Duncan, anchor. Tom Shane Deanstown Sports with Jim Howell and the weather. Now, total news. Good evening. A twin-engine Cochise airliner en route from Yuma to Phoenix was forced to crash land on a Yuma County road this afternoon. And now from Channel 3, KTVK in Phoenix, it's the Eyewitness News team. Dave Nichols, Phil Allen, Evelyn Thompson, Jim Howell with weather, and Jim Jeffrey with sports. And now Eyewitness News. Good evening. Former Beatle John Lennon has been shot and killed tonight in New York City. He was shot three times in front of his Manhattan apartment. From Eyewitness News, the 84 vote continues. Reporting from the TV3 studios, here's Mary Jo West and Frank Robertson. Good evening once again. Now, from Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The music man is dead tonight following a bout with lung cancer. Homeless people have found another spot on the Salt River bottom to settle, but for how long? They need another chance. They need to, you know, revamp their lives, get it back together. And this woman, who styles hair in an elite salon during the week, shares her talent with a less fortunate on her time off. News Channel 3 is next. Good evening. Good morning from News Channel 3. With Mike Moore, Jana Wallace, and Samantha Moore. Arizona's news channel, News Channel 3. Two people are trapped on top of their car by raging waters from a storm that swept into the valley. Arizona's news people. News Channel 3 with Patty Kirkpatrick and Cater Lee, Cameron Harper, Mike Chamberlain, and Jim Howell. Arizona's news channel, News Channel 3. Channel 3 with Frank Camacho and Ann Lankin, Gil Tyree and Jim Howe. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. Arizona's News People. News Channel 3 with Cameron Harper and Heidi Fogelson. Jim Howe and Rock Road, Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. Good evening, everyone. Topping tonight's News Channel 3 is... Arizona's News People. News Channel 3 with Cameron Harper and Cater Lee, Mike Chamberlain, Jim Howe, and Royal Norman. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. Good evening, everyone. Arizona's News People. News Channel 3 with Patty Kirkpatrick. Stand by the roll station one, right? Roll station one, Super Invader. Mike Chamberlain and Jim Howell. Roll station one, Arizona's News Channel. Ready, stand up, station one, Super Invader. News Channel 3. Sound up. Drop Super. Arizona's News People. News Channel 3. With Frank Camacho and Ann Lankin, Gil Tyree, and Royal Norman. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. It's a great Mother's Day present. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Kevin Johnson's mother says it for all of us. The Phoenix Suns deliver a Mother's Day present we all can enjoy. News Channel 3 with Frank Camacho and Jana Wallace, Gil Tyree, and Jim Howell. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. Arizona's News People. 
News Channel 3. Good evening, everyone. Tara Hitchcock and Charles has agreed to take me to the airport because I've got to go interview some big stars like Denzel Washington and Meg Ryan and Jennifer Aniston. Good morning, Arizona. Okay, we've got Tara. Okay, I'm taking over, just trying to get up to date. There's still much more ahead. I'm Terry Olette. Good morning, Arizona. Hi there, I'm Royal Norman down at the Phoenix Civic Plaza this morning. We're doing that Reebok thing, and I'm going to show you. The, the question is, what do they do when you show up with the wrong time, type of tennis shoes? We'll answer that next. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Scott Passmore. A 22-year-old man has been arrested in New York, accused of attacking at least four women. Good morning, Arizona. Hi, I'm Faye Fredericks. It's all over the papers. It is the talk of the town. Hear what some Valley residents have to say about Governor Symington. Good morning, Arizona. Hey, I'm Dan Davis. I'm just kind of messing around out here a little bit, but we finally found somebody who really knows what they're doing on the sea Dew personal watercraft. Good morning, Arizona. Hi, it's Beth and Billy KEZ. Another quote of the day today. I'm so excited to meet you. I've always modeled myself after Ginger, Marla Maple, starlet and wife of Donald Trump, when meeting actress Tina Louise, who played Ginger <laughs> on Gilligan's Island. Good morning, Arizona. Little buddy. I always tried to follow Gilligan's footsteps myself. It's Friday. Good morning, Arizona. Good morning, Arizona. And welcome back to the show. As you heard earlier, Tara Hitchcock has stepped out. I'm Jenna Boomerspock here at the Angel Fire Group, and we're cutting coupons for a really good reason. And we all want to say good morning, Arizona. It's Sunday, and it's still Father's Day. It is June 18th, mm -hmm. 2000. Good morning, Arizona. Good morning, Arizona. Good morning, Arizona. What a lovely Sunday it is out there. If you Good evening. I'm Patty Kirkpatrick. A Valley PE teacher is accused of child molestation. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Bennett Cunningham at Republican National Headquarters where they're painting signs for presidential candidate Dole's impending visit. Dole's demand, it says. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Jana Wallace. Are our troops safe overseas? No, says a newly released report, and the Pentagon might be to blame. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Lisa Toronto. It hasn't opened yet, but we're going to take you inside the brand new Phoenix Art Museum. Good evening, Arizona. She called 911 for help finding her way around. Today, Scottsdale's mayor heard some real calls for help. Tonight, Sam Campana loses a map service, but learns a lesson. You've heard the dangers of burying it in the tanning booth, but before you cover up, listen up. Can a trip to the tanning salon cure what ails you? And this woman has one of the best in Hollywood. We'll find out what it is tonight. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. For years, he's been a trusted teacher at a Valley Elementary School. A Valley man is taken away in cuffs today after allegedly robbing a bank inside a Mesa grocery store. Plus, starting tomorrow, residents of Los Alamos, New Mexico, will get to see for themselves what, if anything, is left after an out-of-control wildfire nearly burned their town to the ground. Mom, I found your wedding dress. <laughs> and people in Texas are looking for the broken pieces of their lives after an overnight tornado destroys dozens of homes. Good evening. Good evening, Arizona. Good evening, everyone. Tonight. Tonight, Arizona, she's got a smile that'll steal your heart. She's a, a little... Angels, but this four year old was hit, killed, and dragged by a car. Tonight, her family tells 3TV they want justice. A principal peeping Tom cuts a deal with prosecutors. And tonight, want to know how much skin damage you have? 
We will tell you how to get the true blue answer. Am I going to die of cancer? Tonight, Arizona. Good evening, everyone. Governor Symington goes to trial tomorrow. The U.S. searches for allies in its Iraq policy. Can a Washington hooker shed light on white water? Mother Teresa's in the hospital again. And stars with the look. Bringing you the world with a hall of CNN. Good evening again, everyone. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the new show. We want to get right to two big developments tonight. Tonight on the new show. I'm so sorry. He, he would never have done this had he been okay. A heartbreaking apology from the mother of the man police say killed two of their own. Her story, that story, next on the new show. A five-year-old boy is killed, police say, by his father. I'm, Sa I'm Scott McGill. I'll have more on what led up to this terrible crime coming up. Is there trouble on the way for Charles Barkley? Find out what police in Philadelphia are looking into tonight. Her game on the court is something to fear. Now she's got the outfit to match. Get a look at what Serena Williams was wearing on center court. From News Channel 3... This is the new show. Two Phoenix police officers shot dead. Good morning, Arizona. And thank you for joining us this morning here on Good Morning, Arizona. Taking a live look at Anthem, where the Fine Arts Festival is taking place. This the Stones are rocking the valley tonight. We are live as fans pour in. Also ahead, your first peek at Victoria's Secret's new bra is not even on store shelves yet. Plus, new colors, a new logo, the Arizona Diamondbacks get a brand new look. See it all tonight on the newsroom. Good evening. Next on Good Evening Arizona, one million pounds of steel jutting out from the Grand Canyon's edge. We're live on the skywalk. Brother and sister fighting for a love most people say is wrong. Escape from a burning plane. Plus, a famous pop star comes out of the closet and in a coma for nearly seven years. But now she's awake. Meet the woman many are calling a miracle. Good Evening Arizona starts right now. Good evening. Good evening, Arizona. It's called the Skywalk. A he faced a judge less than an hour ago. Tonight, the suspect in a triple homicide is back from Mexico. A wild Friday night for that a other guy we showed was that guy. He went for a joy ride on a slow-moving piece of Earlier heavy today. equipment. Wait until you see how it ended. The spookiest holiday of the year just Semi three days away, fall. and this accused sex offender says people like him are counting down. Hear his warning for parents of trick-or-treaters next on the news show. Zoom it for all. Three TV. This is the news show. Start your zoom. Start your zoom. A big dollar Stand bail just five. set One. for the man accused of killing Zip his ex-girlfriend's family. Super. Welcome back. It's a story that shocked the valley, now the country. A valley woman allegedly run down by her own father for becoming too westernized. Okay. Video first, not for long. Thank you. Behind bars again. O.J. Simpson busted for armed robbery in Vegas, and there is an Arizona connection. Plus, is the housing market still in the doldrums in the valley? The we have the numbers you decide. They're not switched. 
so you and can drivers call, kick the company, beware. The Some of the toughest DUI laws in the nation are set to go into effect in Arizona this week. Good evening, Arizona. Red Dog Starts two right now. Dog camera two. Mike's cue. Well, there is an Arizona connection to the latest legal debacle for O.J. Simpson. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Camacho. And I'm Kirsten Joy. This is Arizona Tonight at 8. Two teenage girls are safe tonight after they were nearly kidnapped. Tonight, the tale of the tapes. Prosecutors say they caught the accused serial shooters talking about their crimes. You'll hear the tapes tonight. Tased by police. Cops thought he was drunk. They were wrong. Plus, the crazy chase that was supposed to end here, but this I wasn't ready to give up. You're under arrest. Sheriff Joe Arpaio's new reality show causing a whole lot of controversy. Then, Oprah's shocking confession. What she has to say about packing on the pounds. Plus, learn to be a rock star at Rock and Roll Boot Camp. Tonight on 3TV News at 9. On trial for killing eight people tonight, the chilling tapes that some say are a confession. This is 3TV News at 9. I'm Beverly Kidd. Good morning, Arizona. Wednesday morning, and we were just talking. It's going to be a beautiful yeah. one. A plane with six people on board crashes in the Superstition Mountain. If you've never been to a Genghis Grill, you don't know what you're missing. I Thank you for staying up late with us. Carrie has the night off. Now at 5 o'clock, searching the scorching desert for a missing valley woman. Friends and family used new clues to create a new search map today. Plus, a plane down in the West Valley. The pilot walked away. Right now, the investigation underway. But first on this Sunday night, Starting today, that circus ends and these tents come down. A serving time in the Arizona heat, decked out in pink underwear. Tent City is shutting down. Tonight at 9, Tigers living next door. It was frightening. I mean, we have kids all down the street. The legal battle for a valley man who owned these big cats and the law that keeps predators from becoming pets in your neighborhood. Also, innocent after decades on death row. Being falsely accused of a crime you didn't commit is also a devastating tragedy. The reason she says the victory is bittersweet and what she plans to do now that she's free. Plus, digital dollars on the go. The new tool on your phone that lets you use cash without going to the bank. Tonight at 9. So for months, he was just chilling with his kitty. And if we didn't believe him, he posted the proof on Facebook. And now that Valley Man has been arrested for the tigers he kept as pets. This is a truly a wild story. I'm Brandon Lee. And I'm Heather Moore. The charges are... Tonight at 9, sticker shock. Why this inside of a science book is causing so much controversy tonight. 
Also, it's not just the West Nile virus, the two possibly deadly outbreaks created by mosquitoes, and the one problem to avoid. And anything to pass a law. A sneaky election tactic one city is using that could cost taxpayers billions of dollars. I think that a lot of people would have noticed um, that the cronyism that was going on here. Tonight at 9. And we begin tonight with breaking news, a story that's happening right now. A rescue effort is underway near 35th Avenue and Grant. Monsoon 2014 is once again hitting the valley and all across Arizona tonight. Right now we're staying on top of breaking news out of Compton, California. You're looking at live pictures coming into our newsroom of heavy flames and smoke shooting out of a commercial building in South Los Angeles. This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Looks like a runway right there. <laughs> Where are we going? Ready for takeoff. Good morning, Arizona. 6 a.m. on your Saturday morning, October 19th. Good morning, Arizona. Happy Monday to you folks. Hopefully everybody had a long weekend out there. Right now at 9 o'clock, cases of coronavirus climbing, unemployment numbers going up right along with it. It was devastating, and we're still devastated. Schools shut down. Now students and families turning living rooms into classrooms for the rest of the school year. What this means for students and their teachers. I signed an executive order directing Arizonans to stay home. Governor Ducey taking executive action to try to slow the spread of coronavirus in our state. What has changed and what this means for you? And good morning, Arizona, here at 9 o'clock on this Tuesday. I'm Scott. We appreciate you joining us. I'm Yetta, and that's where we begin this morning. Good morning, Arizona. Thanks for waking up with us here at 4.30 on a Tuesday. A carrot nose and two eyes made out of olives? Sure, snack on this jolly snowman from Better Homes and Gardens, which is better melted instead of cold. Good morning, everyone. I'm Suzanne Bissett. Thanks so much for joining us. Tonight at 5 o'clock, it has been 18 years since the attacks of 9 11. Tonight at 8 o'clock, we are tracking two major stories. We are previewing President Trump's visit to the Valley coming up tomorrow. Good evening. Right now on the news at 9 o'clock, Arizona's stay-at-home order expires in three hours. You are taking a live look on this Monday night right now at some ADOT traffic cameras as rain moving across the Phoenix metro area. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Brandon Lee. And I'm Chris Pickle. The news at 10 starts right now. We begin with new developments in the push to get nursing homes and long-term care facilities to be more transparent. The American people have waited long enough. This is as close to a Christmas miracle as you can find in a polarized Washington. Happening right now in the news at 10 o'clock, Congress reaches an agreement. After months of negotiations, a second stimulus package is finally on the way. Good Monday morning, Arizona. We start off with some breaking news. And this is an Arizona's family news update. And good morning, Arizona. Scott Passmore here with the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's family newsroom.
Well, good morning, Arizona. Gentlemen, good morning and happy Tuesday to you. Ernie here in Phoenix along 27th Avenue where police are investigating another officer involved shooting. This one happening less than 24 hours after a second one on the same street. Good morning, Arizona. It's been a difficult 10 months for Valley restaurants, especially those in Westgate. So how are they dealing with no fans in the stands for Saturday's Fiesta Bowl game? We check in with some of them to see how things are going. Good morning, Arizona. Susan here for three on your side. The countdown to 2021 is on. Coming up, the easy financial resolutions you can make to kick off your new year. Good morning, Arizona. Good morning, Arizona. Seven o'clock on your Tuesday morning. Right now, 7 o'clock, a busy night for fire crews as they rush to stop the flames at a Valley home. On today's Your Life Arizona, we share the secret to making your fresh flowers last. Yes, you can do it. Today, Arizona surpassed a half million COVID-19 cases. Mesa detectives just arrested a man for arson. They say he intentionally set this home on fire. Mr. Derek Chauvin betrayed this badge. We came back and we really literally had to tear it all apart. Good evening. Tonight at 8 o'clock, the countdown is on to the new year. But despite rising COVID cases, Valley restaurants, many of them say they're still getting ready for the crowds. What you need to know if you're planning to go out to celebrate this week. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jared Dillingham. And good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Moore. 3 TV News at 9 starts right now. Mother Nature showering the high country with snow and turning northern Arizona into a winter wonderland. Look at this. Seven hundred and eighty votes. President, they're saying all I want to do just find I just want to find eleven thousand seven hundred and eighty votes. So that is President Trump caught on tape pressuring Georgia officials to find votes to change the presidential election results. A game over for the Arizona Cardinals. We'll break down the good, the bad, and the frustrating in tonight's season-ending loss to the LA Rams. But first, COVID-19 is the worst it has ever been in our state. That's according to experts. The number of new cases reported in one day hitting a record high today. Thank you for joining us tonight, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. Tonight, the House approved two crucial measures. First, lawmakers passed the CASH Act to increase direct stimulus payments to Americans. Thanks for watching 3TV. 